Hi. You've probably heard of the tainted milk scandal in China where over 50,000 babies got sick and at least four died because of milk powder that was tainted with melamine. Um, this was around September 2008. And you probably figured that doesn't concern me and my baby. We don't live in China. But, uh, well, it turns out it does concern you because now infant formula, as much as 90% of what's on the market, turns out to be contaminated with melamine um, right here in the U.S. and Canada, I'm assuming. I, this happened in the U.S., but it's the same stuff we have up here. So what has the FDA done about it? Uh, instead of recalling the products, they've abruptly declared melamine contamination below one part per million in a formula to be safe. And uh, conveniently, this threshold, the safety threshold, is just above the levels found in the U.S. infant formula products. The FDA have instructed the public to continue to feed their baby's formula, despite the fact that it contains melamine. Their uh, declaration of these trace amounts of melamine being safe is not based on any new scientific inquiry, but likely on protection of the pharmaceutical industry's interests. The Associated Press obtained reports on the contamination of U.S. infant formula through the Freedom of Information Act, but before this, infant, uh, this information had been made public, the FDA had stated FDA is currently unable to establish any level of melamine and melamine-related compounds to infant formula, in infant formula that does not raise public health concerns. So this was just before the formula was found to be contaminated in the U.S. Uh, suddenly, once the news got out that U.S.-made formula was contaminated, the FDA changed their story and declared that trace amounts of melamine were safe um, what do you think the FDA is more concerned with, your baby's health or covering uh, the pharmaceutical industries behind? Uh, if you want to be sure that your baby is drinking milk that's safe and if you're able to breastfeed your baby. Now, if you're already feeding your baby formula, um, you probably don't have that option to breastfeed and you might want to look into which formulas are not containing melamine. I know that the three major brands, um, Nestle, um, Enfamil, and Similac, were all um, involved in this contamination, from what I've read. You might want to look into it more, but there, there are other brands, and there are actually um, organic baby food brands out there. So that's my report for today on formula. Bye-bye.